Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before we get started, I'm going to say our blessing. Blessed art thou, Adonai Eloheinu, King of the Universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us to grow ourselves with the words of Torah. Please Adonai Eloheinu, sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths and in the mouths of all your people, Israel. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai Eloheinu, King of the Universe. Who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Bless you, Adonai, give her the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to enlighten you. May be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is Jeremiah 46, 13 through 28. The word that Yahweh spoke to Jeremiah the prophet about the coming of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, to strike the land of Egypt. Declare in Egypt and proclaim in Mignol. Proclaim in Memphis and Taphanus. Say, stand ready and be prepared, for the sword shall devour you. Why are your mighty ones face down? They do not stand, because Yahweh thrust them down. He made them stumble and they fell. And they said to one another, Arise, and let us go back to our own people, into the land of our birth. Because the sword of the oppressor came the name of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, noisy one, who lets the hour go by. As I live, declares the king, whose name is Yahweh of hosts, like Tabor, among the mountains, and like Carmel, by the sea, shall one come. Prepare yourselves baggage for exile, O inhabitants of Egypt. For Memphis shall become a waste, a ruin without an inhabitant. A beautiful heifer is Egypt, but a biting fly from the north has come upon her. Even her hired, hired soldiers in her midst are like fattened calves. Yes, they have turned and fled together. They did not stand. For the day of their calamity has come upon them, the time of their punishment. She makes a sound like a serpent gliding away, and her enemies march in force and come against her with axes, like those who fell trees. They shall cut down her forest, declares Yahweh. Though it is impenetrable, because they are more numerous than locusts, they are without number. The daughter of Egypt shall be put to shame. She shall be delivered in the hand of a people from the north. Yahweh of hosts, Elohim of Israel, said, Behold, I am bringing punishment upon Aaron of Thebes, and Pharaoh in Egypt, and her gods, and her kings, upon Pharaoh and those who trust in him. I'll deliver them into the hand of those who seek their life, into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and his officers. Afterward, Egypt shall be inhabited as inhabited, as in the days of old, declares Yahweh. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, nor be dismayed, O Israel, for behold, I will save you from far away and your offspring from the land of their captivity. Jacob shall return and have quiet and ease, and none shall make him afraid. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, declares Yahweh, for I am with you. I will make, full in, I will make a full end of all nations to which I have driven you. But of you I will not make a full end. I will discipline you in just measure, and I will by no means leave you unpunished. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elaine, you king universe, who gives the Torah of truth instead of everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, give her the Torah, Bukita Adonai Elaine, you malach alom. Asher talunu, tredimet, baishi alom, natah, betekin, you, Bukita Adonai, natina, tarah.